everybody. Welcome back to part two of showing my polished rocks from the previous cleaning video. Look at these incredible colors here. This Jasper just pops. Another piece of Jasper, just a brilliant red. And the polish on it is pretty good. I've done better. This is Adventuring. Turned out pretty good. Regular quartz. We also have oh, one of my favorites. This is a Jasp Agate type material. Over here, this is translucent. You can actually see healed fractures in there. The colors, the patterns, look at that. This stuff is incredible. And this one, stay in my personal collection. It's not going anywhere. Now, this is what they would start off with before I started my pre-polish. This is after two rounds of grit. So this is what they would typically look like. And this is after a round of coarse grit and a round of medium grit before I start my pre-polish process. There's this one here with this green and the black basalt. This was actually featured in a video that where I picked it up out there on private property. Too bad there's the crack in it. But I think I'm gonna keep this one anyway despite the crack because it is so unique looking. Got some rhyolite. Who knows what that is? But whatever it is, it's water layered. It's pretty cool looking. So my good old standby quartzite stuff always takes a good shine. Let me see what else. Oh, I hear something with some color in it too. Yeah, you see still some, some damage. That's, that's a little bit of tumbling damage right there. So one out of all of them with tumbling damage. But also you have to understand, like with this one here, Mother Nature is awfully hard on these rocks. Look at the greens of this. Just incredible. And of course we have some purples, pinks, a little bit of reds. Now this one here almost looks like it's got some red moss in it. Hint of green. So that looks like it's got red moss in it. Petrified wood. But yeah, this is why I mess with this quartz, another chunk of quartzite. And this, this one here in the sunshine will probably sparkle some. Just the plain Jane, little worry stone type. I don't care the make, the makeup, what type of rocks these are, the shapes, where I found them. And actually all these were found on private property, Missoula flood flat, mud flat deposits, or Missoula flood deposits. There we go, that's better. So yeah, I just think 
Polishing rocks is something cool, and a lot of people appreciate it. Now, some people don't like this high level of polish with this lot of shaping on it. Uh, they like it more of the rougher design, rougher pattern with some texture left in it. That's fine too. I do some of that as well. But this is what I truly like doing. And anytime I can get back in that area to get, get access to that private property, which I now have a key to, I'm going to go pick up some more. So there you go. This is part two of the cleanup. So remember, everyone's life is an adventure. And then there's mine sitting here admiring some of this pretty cool looking rocks that I polished. This is the Adventures of Charles Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.